This is the Gemini season. Gemini season begins from um, May 21st until June 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share these videos. Please remember to go listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, this is very good. And check out your partner's reading. Um, you are a fire sign. This is the season of air from May 21st until June 20th. All right, I see the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, the spill milk. Um, um, the strength is also in reverse. I see you, young people, and the energy of the devil. Some sort of yes, the energy of the devil and you, young people. So what we see is the Eight of Cups. Um, some of you are trying to um, regain some sort of a stability. Is fighting to regain some sort of a stability. Um, the Eight of Cups is always the energy of Saturn in Pisces. Okay, some sort of a regretful event, and it's as if the event has happened before you get into the series and you're just dealing with it. Then we see the energy, um, you guys are have lost your energy. Um, this is the energy of you, Leos. This is the energy of you, Leos. It's as if you have lost your energy because there is a huge loss that you're dealing with. Okay. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, because this is the energy of Saturn in Pisces, and I see some of you recognize that you have lost a Pisces, okay? Um, it's not going to happen. The relationship with the Pisces, you can't fight it anymore because it is definitely not going to be happening. So um, emotional situation with relationship in the first week. In the second week, um, you you know you're trying to regain stability um, to move forward and in the third week some of you could be moving forward in the third week the third week is going to be affecting um, you young people between the ages of 18 and 50 all right 18 and 50 you young people have the third week is where it's going to be affecting you now the fourth week the energy of the devil is here and um, the energy of the devil is not a fine energy, ladies and gentlemen. This is about negativity and this is about situation that you're going to be caught up in. That is not very positive. So you have to be aware of this. So you have eight and eight, which is 88, something with your financial stability, some sort of a karmatic situation that a lot of you Leos have to be dealing with. Then we see that you young people, some sort of a... Um, problems you young people are going to be coming in in some sort of a problems okay whatever this problem is we are going to be finding out as we move forward so number 88 is going to be your energy 88 but then in the last week we have the energy of the devil and the energy of the devil is six okay so some sort of a relationship problems um karmatic relationship 88 is about infinity and it's about karmatic relationships that some of you have been dealing with. So let's look at the first week. The first week is from the 21st until the 27th. You have an um, emotional situation where someone has left your life. Um, someone is moving away from out of your life, okay? And I see that some of you, Leos, recognize that it's not going to be happening anymore between you and a Pisces, okay? Some of you could have been in a relationship with a Pisces and they're going to be recognizing it's not happening anymore. Um, uh, some of you wanted to reunite with a Pisces. It's not going to happen anymore. This person has already walked away from you and turned their back. Um, this Pisces um, could have recognized that uh, um, this relationship is now over. Okay. So um, I see a lot of you could be wanted to reconnect with a Pisces but if the Pisces is not really letting you know that they are no longer interested you have to understand that Pisces um they're going to be holding you out for as long and when they don't need you anymore that's when they cut you off okay that's how Pisces um work basically because it's as if they're they're afraid to tell you that the marriage, the relationship, whatever it is, is over. Um, and it is it's a situation where they can't look at you and tell you something with Pisces that they can't, you know, let you know that, hey, I'm not working on um, 
this relationship or this marriage anymore because I no longer feel it no they just find someone else and move on so um it doesn't have to be a Pisces if some of you were planning on a real a nighting with someone it's not going to be happening the second week is um, from the fourth until um, the the 28th until the 3rd of June 28th until the 3rd of June a lot of you are trying to find inner strength okay and I see you will um, get over this situation you're trying to find inner strength and you know it's as if you have lost all hope and whatever it is by you know you losing all hope is okay because you are going to be balancing out this so let's say that a relationship was over you are trying to get back on your feet in this week and you know you will successfully overcome this take the time to heal from this situation so it's as if in that week the Pisces or your partner or whoever these people are that you were dealing with um you know let you down it's a sort of a let down it's okay because you're going to be getting up on your feet in the, the second week so the week of the 28th until the 3rd of June is going to be um shocking for some of you but not to worry because you're going to be overcoming the situation so let's say that your partner said you know um I don't want to work on this relationship I don't want to move forward in this relationship fine cool you know um have it your way I'm good okay uh, don't fight against this it's inevitable to happen it's good prima okay don't worry it is it is a situation where um, you will be successful whatever the problem is whatever that is going on whatever that is transpired you're going to be successfully overcoming this situation okay even though you lose faith in that this reunion or whatever will happen um let it go all right it's time to move on it's time to recognize uh, that uh, i need to let go of this issue this issue has been dragging me down i am losing um i have lost everything over dealing with this issue and it's okay because i'm letting go and i'm walking away and as you let go and walk away and it's something new is just going to miraculously coming in at you okay so it's is and it's going to be about luck there's no question about it um, and it's about you successfully overcoming some sort of a relationship problems that you were having successfully overcoming because this is about you wanted to reunite with someone but this person have no hopes of doing that it's as if uh, they have moved on but they don't want to tell you that um, because they don't know how you are going to be dealing with this but um, you know Leo's you gotta let go a lot of you Leo's you just gotta let go let go and let God in this situation because whatever is transpiring you will overcome this and you will meet someone else new a whole lot of you have been dealing with a whole lot of issues but you will overcome this is the card of overcome this is the card of a success okay you're definitely going to be successfully overcoming all of this issue that was uh, um, pulling you down okay it was it was unbelievable how the situation was pulling you down so unexpected success is going to be coming in okay and some sort of a problem that you have is going to be um, bring great outcomes okay prosperity is going to be coming up luck um, you know and this is going to be absolutely fantastic this is going to be good positive energy okay some sort of a magical um, resolution to a problem that you have been dealing with and a lot of divine protection is going to be coming up for a lot of you in the the second week divine perfection is going to be good um, 
okay if you're doing any beauty um, cosmetic surgery that is going to be good do it in the second week some sort of a um, celebration could be also coming up in this second week and this is going to be good all right so positive let's look at the third week um, the third week is about moving forward the third week is about standing your ground moving forward and making sure that no one um, a step you know create any issues for you it's about you taking back your power it's about you letting people know that hey I'm moving forward you know stand in my way and move out of my way because I'm moving forward and this is about taking back your powers and getting um, uh, um, getting out of uh, some sort of a inconsistency that you were dealing with where you had hoped for some sort of a help from someone it didn't happen I see you young um, ladies and young men okay it's going to be uh, affected here all right you young ladies and young men is going to be affected here so you know this energy of this young lady as we look at her this is a um, a young person who is um, between the ages uh, is an unmarried woman and uh, you unmarried ladies it's as if you want to reunite with someone but this person is afraid to tell you that they really do not want uh, um, to reunite with you okay um, so you know young unmarried women in a sense some um, uh, it could be a sister also it could be your daughter or a friend but it's as if uh, um, you wanted to move forward you wanted to reunite with this person or they want to reunite with you but you're not open um, for them you don't you know you're you're moving and you're pushing towards this person but um, they're like uh, no something is uh, keeping them something no and you're looking um, to move forward then because you see that this person is not communicating with you so you recognize oh this person is now um, okay so I now understand um, what is transparent so I'm going to let this go and you know unmarried women and uh, young people um, between the ages of uh, 18 and 50 um, this is when you decided I'm letting go of the relationship I'm letting go of the friendship okay so this person don't want to work out the issues with me all right I'm letting go of it okay so whatever is has been happening a lot of you um, I see that um, whatever the um, connection is between you and another person that you were trying to reunite with these person it's not going to happen and in the third week you're going to be recognizing it's time that I let this go and just look forward and just move on with my life because um, the marriage the relationship the friendship that I had um, the, 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 the relationship with my sister and I is not going or the relationship with my friends are no longer going to be the same so you know let me let this go and move on and you gotta just recognize that you have spent too much energy holding on to a situation that is not working out and you young especially young unmarried lady it can be relationship it can be friendship it can be um, marriages uh, unmarried uh, women that ex marriages that sort of a situation but it is not working out whatever it is you wanted to reunite now it's not happening let it go and um, um, it's, it's, it's a time to take uh, you know take your own and, and and just move on move on move on move on you have the the, the um, probability of moving on you're getting the push move on let it go move on um, accept it and take it um, a stride move on okay and this is going to be good Um, sometimes you know you want to um, to because um, here it is definitely that a lot of you wanted to reconnect with someone and work out some sort of a problem and issue. All right, so we see the energy of the devil. 
and the energy of the devil um, comes up and this energy of the devil has to do with um, you regret a situation sadness and loss heartbreaks um, some sort of a temporary set setbacks you regret a situation okay you have lost connection with people that you were trying to reunite with and now you regret that these people no longer are coming around you regret that you know things have gone um, out of uh, um, yeah bounds out of orbit out of existence is as if relationship friendship just uh, um, spawn out of control and now you miss these people um, you miss the relationship you miss the person um, you miss a whole lot um, and you know you're you're really reconsidering what you have done because some of you Leah's have done something is as if uh, you um, uh, you react too fast Oh, a lot of you you react so fast whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you reacted so fast to a situation Leo that has created a whole lot of issues and problems uh, between you and your girlfriends because of some sort of a fast reaction because you wanted to get back at someone um, and you thought that you know being putting a spin on it putting a spunk on it um, would have helped you but it has worked against you Aaliyah's okay and a lot of you women is recognizing um, this now because you're recognizing that uh, um, maybe you have uh, reacted too fast and it's not only um, women that's affected men and women are now affected but especially um, a, a lot of young women are going to be recognizing Jesus I should have think about what I say before I say what I say I should have think about the way that I have uh, um, deal with a situation all right and I see regrets I see some of you are regretting that you make some sort of a decision um, because you're now melancholy and you recognize that uh, um, you know you have not made the right decision you have um, you know spit out something um, you have uh, um, you know maybe you were not in the mood whatever that was happening what was transpiring um, you created a whole lot of chaos um, for yourself by uh, maybe saying something out of line and you you recognize that now oh my god uh, you know people are always saying that I'm always just uh, bloating out everything and I see how I can affect and how I uh, affect other people and uh, how this I, I've lost a lot of friends because of this and some of you are going to say well was they really friends yeah but um, people can take to so much and um, you know people can love you and want to help you um, but if you don't want to help yourself then I see that um, uh, people are just gonna be walking away so um, a lot of you Leo's wanted some sort of a um, reunion and you're recognizing that the reunion is not going to be happening and the person doesn't want to tell you that they don't want to start over um, but you know you're going to be recognizing this for yourself and it's going to be recognizing that hey all right um, you don't really want to tell me but it's okay I kind of recognize that you have no I you have no um, uh, it's as if you you just feel as if yeah this person just don't want to tell me that they don't want to reunite and um, it's as if a person keep on keeping you in the loop and you yourself is going to be finding out okay so that was what you were doing you were keeping me in the loop to see um, you know when uh, procedures was uh, um, better for you to move on so you were just keep him in the loop okay I'm pulling myself out of the loop no it's not happening all right because someone was just holding you on until better shores comes for them okay and that is when you're going to be finding out no 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 bye it's okay 
don't use me um, as um, a stepping stone okay then I see you ladies are regretting melancholy for you ladies you ladies are regretting you're in a whole lot of melancholy whatever is transpiring you regret something um, and some of you are going to be recognizing I act too fast I act too fast and you regret that you have acted too fast because it's affecting you in your world now so wow uh, Leo's 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 yes and it's going to be um, you know it's like a wake-up call but it's okay um, it's just that some of us have to just understand where we are and what is coming up okay um, I love you guys the second week is going to be your best week second week and third week is going to be your best week I do love you please remember like and share thumbs up and namaste until next time